हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ डॉक्टर भवदीप ओहूजा हेयर आई होप यू आर लाइकिंग माई वीडियोज़ ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो टूडेज वीडियो इज़ अगैन इन रिस्पॉन्स टू अ क्वेरी दैट आई रिसीव्ड येस्टडे ओनली सर हाउ टू हैंडल इन्फ्लेशन वी आर सपोज टू रेज चार्जेज टू अ कंपनी रेज इन स्टाफ सैलरी रेंट एक्सेट्रा बट द ओल्ड पेशेंट्स डोंट एक्सेप्ट इट ईजिली सर प्लीज डू आंसर इट इन रिलेशन टू नॉन कोविड टाइम्स ऑफकोर्स आई नो दैट कोविड टाइम्स आर देयर एंड दे विल पास एंड वील बी बैक टू आर नॉर्मल लाइफ सो हेयर आई बिगिन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई रियली एप्रिशिएट द क्वेरी दैट द द dentist who has asked me this question has actually discounted the covid times on his own uh, i really feel good about it yes uh, let's talk about a normal scenario the non covid times and we need to realize that yes annually raising your charges or at least raising them every 2 years again discount the covid times talk about the normal times annually or raising your charges every 2 years is a good thing to keep up pace uh, with the upkeep in your practice because this is not about uh, the carry home money always it is about uh, small little things in your practice which are going to make a difference i as an internal marketing factor i always believe that there should be a small little changes every 2 to 3 years in your practice be it the say the furniture cover maybe the blinds maybe the curtains or maybe small little things uh, maybe the color of your uh, or the lamination of your chair a uh, small little things which you can actually easily afford and uh, those which actually bring a freshness in your clinic of course along with maybe a paint in your clinic as well every 2 to 3 years so these sort of things actually bring some freshness and send a message to the patient that yes you are upgrading otherwise if you are increasing your charges and you are doing the same work in the same setup for so many years the patient will say 10 saal pehle main aata tha ये पर्दा यहीं पे होता था यही पर्दा था ये ब्लाइंड यहाँ से फटा हुआ था ये वहीं का वहीं है वैसे का वैसे ही है द डॉक्टर हैज़ नॉट चेंज एनी थिंग एट ऑल सो दिस इज़ वन सनारियो बिकॉज वंस यू रेज योर चार्जेस दैट सम अमाउंट ऑफ दैट शुड बी इन्वेस्टेड बैक इन योर प्रैक्टिस ऑल्सो फॉर इंटरनल मार्केटिंग एज वेल वी ऑलवेज लुक टू इन्वेस्ट इन न्यू गैजेट्स yes nothing wrong in that uh, doing it as per your roi uh, return over investment potential is a great thing about the number of patients you have for that but uh, even more than that what is more important is actually that uh, the same is invested in the internal marketing as well so once you do that the patients will automatically realize that yes he is changing things in the practice changing uh, new gadgets putting in new gadgets putting in uh, new changes and uh, adopting new protocols and yes these are for our benefit only now uh, that brings me to another perspective of this that uh, the if the changes are still being done the old patients uh, don't accept it aap pehle itne the ab dheere dheere charges badhaye ja rahe ho we need to understand that everybody will sick have this thing in mind that inflation is eating into everyone's pocket things are getting expensive every day put it on the government put it on the global crude prices put it on the global changes otherwise uh, these things are a part and parcel of life uh, our average annual spending increases by roughly 8 to 10% every year if you are for example if you are uh, spend again covid times discounted if your an annual or monthly spending last year in march or april was uh 50000 rupees for example for all the expenses your fees be budget everything included it would be 55 or close to 55000 in today's time because uh the, the prices of everything are going to increase so if you are not increasing your treatment charges where is that extra money going to come from that is going unless you have a second source of flowing income so we have to let go our fears and again the cost value perception has to be explained very clearly to the patient if the the patient is a old one it is easier to explain them yes we are investing back into our practice and uh, yes things are getting expensive we are trying to put a tab on it uh, we are still trying to limit the amount of increased cost but then like everything like every cost of living expense this is also increasing day by day so i hope uh, you uh, please keep in uh, sync with the charges as well because uh, we also survive on dentistry only for our income uh, at this point of time i would say those who are your old trusted loyal patients they will understand this very very clearly yes uh, charges are uh, genuinely priced or maybe they are raised in sync with the growing times and 
the most important factor that I want to mention over here is that patient does not select us for our charges alone. Yes, pricing may be an important factor if the patient is selecting us for the first time. But we are, if we are offering the patient an excellent service which creates a good patient experience and results in a great patient uh, satisfaction as per the S is equal to P minus E principle, satisfaction is equal to perception minus expectation, I'm sure the price would be always secondary. But yes, if your service standards also drop, uh, you are not offering or in patient size the perception is not there aage kaam acha karte the ab inki service utni achhi nahi rahi remember a restaurant you go to uh, even if it is an expensive one you have a good experience you don't mind spending the money but if you go there maybe uh, 6 months down the line and the charges may be same or maybe little bit more yes they are already on higher side and but if the service standard drops you say paise bhi itne de diye maza bhi nahi aaya khana ka ke so similar thing, the patient has to create an experience in the practice. So we all know that these things, agar aapki cost of living bad rahi hai, toh aapke staff ki bhi bad rahi hai. Aapki clinic ki maintenance ki cost bhi bad rahi hai. So unless you have a second source of income, you need to put that money or take out that money from your clinic. Or else your cost or your expense would go on increasing and at the same price, your uh, uh, income would go on decreasing. So the, or maybe it remains constant. So even if it remains constant to what you were charging two years back and you're having the same patients or same income. So yes, multiple factors why the practice is not growing, then that is a topic for another day altogether. But if it is the same one and your expenses are increasing, that would mean you are actually carrying home lesser amount. That would mean you are already carrying home lesser amount. You are not able to pay your staff an annual or above say uh, uh, two, uh, once in a two year raise. If you are not able to raise staff, you say, sir, my cost of living is increasing, so I'm increasing. If the charges are increasing, the patients will not come. We try to, we create a decent uh, environment in our staff. Even the loyal staff can turn buggy. Uh, this is the way actually this thing starts. If your cost of living increases, the pay staff's cost of living also increases. So if you desire an increase in services, they also want an increase in their salary. So if uh, for all these things to be compensated, the annual or once in two years raise is required in your treatment charges. If you are not doing that, you are actually carrying home a lesser amount. So I hope uh, I am able to put across uh, what I wanted to say in this video. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please do like, share and comment if uh, it appealed to you or if it, there were any carry home points in this for you. And I'm sure you'll be loving the webinars coming your way from Sunday 2nd May onwards, uh, surely. And uh, please do tell your colleagues about it. This channel of mine is actually an exclusive attempt to give back to the profession uh, in whatever way I can to help all the colleagues, healthcare colleagues, doctors, dentists and uh, all those healthcare personnel who are actually subscribed to my channel. So thank you so much and uh, I see you very soon in another video shortly. Thank you.